That is the defining characteristic of exponential functions. The rate of growth is directly proportional to the current value of the function. Knowing this is going to help you recognize which contexts should be modeled by exponential function. Population growth, it is because the thing is replicating itself. So if you start out with more rabbits, you're gonna make more rabbits than a smaller group of rabbits would make. So the number of new rabbits, which is the growth of the function, is proportional to how many rabbits were there in the first place. Money in the bank grows exponentially as well because the interest rates that the bank pays you, so they're gonna see how much money you have, calculate a small percentage of that, which is proportional to the whole, and then give you that much again, is radioactive decay. So you have a radioactive substance, they emit particles or whatever, I don't know physics, but the rate at which that happens depends on how much of the substance you have. Specifically, the temperature of the coffee, the speed at which the temperature decreases is proportional, not to the temperature itself, but to the difference in temperature between the coffee and the room. 